Yeah. And... Do you know if we're going to see um, Pat and Freca? We are not going to see Pat. I did not hear from Freca. Okay, he's on. I often... assume I assume he'll be here. Yeah, and I'll I'll keep watch on the audience. Perfect. Okay, and you're recording, yeah. so you're all you're all set. Thank you. Sean. I'll make, yeah, anytime. And I'll make you folks, Donna. Perfect. All right, George, okay. how are you doing? Have a good night. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. George, how are you? This is my second committee meeting of the day, so I'm not in a good mood. Oh, no. I'm sure Lynn has probably had two more meetings in addition, so I should Actually, play. today I wasn't able to come to TSO, but I understand that this is good news, Anna. They got the... Um, school zones done oh good so we're going to put it on the agenda for the 18th good george promised me two weeks so That's um sweet. he he's a man of his word all right uh well ish. as you got it done with the juice um okay i'm going to call this meeting of gol to order it is 6 31 on thursday november 7th um i'm going to make sure everyone can hear and be heard uh lynn Griesmer? present councillor ryan present all right we are not going to be joined by uh, Councillor D'Angelis today, and we're, uh, we'll see when Councillor Ate joins us. We're going to start with public comment, and we currently have a member of the public. Um, so, Darcy, I'm going to go ahead and allow you to talk. You'll have up to three minutes to give your comment, and give me one second just to get, uh, get this set. One moment. All right. All right, Darcy, I'm going to allow you to speak and then, oh, actually, before we do that, I'm gonna, uh, Darcy, before you start your comment, I'm gonna allow you to talk, but I need to make sure Councillor Ette can hear us. Councillor Ette, are you, can you hear us? Oh, yes, maybe so. Okay. Freka, can you hear us? You muted yourself, sorry. Oh, someone's talking at your house and so you're waiting? No, I can, yes. Okay, all right, cool, thank you. All right, um, Darcy, you can go ahead and make your public comment. Thank you for bearing with us. Okay, um, good evening. My name is Darcy Dumont and I live in District 3. Uh, I'm just, I just have a quick comment about the organization of the Climate Action Town Manager goals. Um, thank you first for doing the research and the reorganizing. I think the new process makes a lot of sense um, and that the Concord goals especially look good. Um, uh, first comment is that the general name of the goal area um, should be climate action, not climate resilience, um, because those terms mean different things. Uh, climate action can include anything, basically, and climate resilience refers to, doesn't include actions to reduce emissions. It includes actions that deal with climate change after it happens, like upgrading stormwater systems, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, um, so um, as far as your, I'm just going to comment a little bit on the, the example that you put out. I don't know if that's what you're actually now currently considering, but I am going to just throw out a few little comments. So. Uh, as far as the the objectives, um, I I wouldn't include the word resilience in the first first objective because it's so important that we fulfill our actual climate action goals that the council set. Um, I recommend it be worded more like accomplishment of council adopted climate action goals and the relevant portions of the CARP that would reduce emissions in the areas of buildings, transportation, energy, waste, and carbon sequestration. Those are the five general areas that are always used, especially those that have been prioritized through FY 2025. So um, in previous goals, there they have been listed, the different ones, the goals that reduce emissions. Um, the example regarding the municipal aggregation goal states on your template that it is complete. Uh, in fact, it isn't complete. The aggregation is complete, 
Um, but the joint powers entity is still in progress. So that should, and I'm requesting that that remain an action item. Um, you could list CARP goals that are still in progress as action items, such as completing a fleet inventory um, and a timeline for transition of vehicles. Thank you, Darcy. Okay. I don't pick the music. The music picks itself, apparently. I didn't choose right. that. Thank All you right. very much, Darcy. I'll send you the remaining comments. Perfect. And, I, and Darcy, I do want to clarify in case it informs your comments to us. Um, what I wrote in was truly just an example, and it should not be taken to be something that we are working from. We are working from last year's document. Um, I, I understand that the joint powers is not complete. I um, That is not, we're, we're working from a blank document populating with last year's goals, just to clarify the document you're looking at. That's why it's an example, not uh, not what we're working with. Okay, sounds good. I'll just send you. you. These are my suggestions. Absolutely, thank you. Okay. Okay. Um, so I am, let's see. We are going to move first to, I wanna first start with a clarifier. Um, I had not looked at the online packet until right before the meeting. I was working with the documents I had um, and there was an error in what was posted with the proclamations. Um, I sent the committee the correct ones that I had requested be placed in the packet. I had formatted them um, to fit and, and made some slight, again, not content edits, just formatting edits. Um, I emailed those to you all right before this meeting and I will send them, resend them to be placed in the packet to um, be updated. But I just wanted to let folks know that I, when I pull up a Word doc, it might look a little bit different than what was in the packet. And uh, I apologize if this is creating double work for you if you went in and had edits, but um, I wanted to let folks know about that for later. Counselor, oh, hand went up, hand went down. Counselor, you're good, okay. Um, we're gonna start though with the town manager goals. So as a reminder, um, we are, Talking through today, the goal is the goal with the goals is to talk through um, the okay is to talk through the goal areas and hopefully the objectives. So I asked for feedback from the council, um, and and some folks did email me that. And so what I took the liberty to do is kind of compile that feedback and start a draft version of this that will kind of work to populate going forward. Uh, so if folks are okay, I'm gonna share my screen and we can start to look at that. We're gonna start with the goal areas. Um, so. So we're just right now looking at the blue column, goal area. So I didn't delete any at this point and I just wanna kind of just to start us off. Uh, first is climate action, community health and safety, economic vitality, housing affordability, major capital investments, racial equity and social justice, administration and leadership, personnel management, finance, and then infrastructure management, maintenance, and land stewardship. So what I wanna hear from the committee is, are these still what you think are accurate for categories? Do you think we should combine? Do you think any are irrelevant? We'll start with Councilor Ryan, go ahead. On my uh, document, it also has community engagement. Oh, sorry, I missed that one. It okay. is, should so, be on here. And, and also relationship with the town council. Yeah, I, I skipped the last page. Okay. I apologize. Yeah. Thank okay. you for that. No, that's all right. Uh, Lynn? Yeah, um, so I sent a document in, but it's not totally reflected here. Some of it is. Climate action I left as is. Mm -hmm. I wondered if I didn't, don't get into the objectives, just the broad goal areas. Yes. Okay. Then on the next one, I wondered if there was a way to combine it with a new title, and I didn't come up with one, on community health and safety and the social justice one. And um, my mind may be actually confusing. I don't know if you're trying to put it up or what. No, I was just pulling it up. I didn't see any comments on yours. There weren't comments. You had to look at actually what I did. Okay. Um, I was seeing it as 
community health and safety still on the version that I can. Okay. So the community health and safety, I've suggested that might we possibly combine it and give it a new title with the social um, justice. Okay. I have to see if I can find my. I'm um, pulling it up. It's right here. I was okay. looking at it right before me. Okay. So I, I don't know that I made a comment, but it would need a new title and it would include health and safety and it would include racial equity and social justice. Okay. okay. So then the next two, next one, actually, I actually wondered if there was any way to combine, maybe with a different title again, economic vitality and housing, because so many of the issues are related, inter interrelated. And so then, let me just go on. Then I had major capital investments. And then under administration, I had all kinds of areas that are formerly goals, but now I would put them under objectives. And then I had a last category stri called strategic relationships. Okay. Which is Thank not you. unlike what I think George might have done, although he might have called it community relations or something. Um, so I was trying, my goal was to try to get it down to six. Okay. Two administrative and four broad policy ones. Okay. okay. That's that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and I apologize, Lynn. I misinterpreted what you had mm, said. Not me. a problem. I, I thought you were adding objectives in. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. That makes more sense. Uh, Councillor Ette, and I'm going to put the initial document up, and then we'll bring in Lynn's comments as we go. Uh, Councillor Ette, go ahead. Actually, like uh, Lynn's classification, I thought we could blend community engagement with higher institutions, because I imagine high institutions are part of our community. Mm -hmm. Don't need to be separate. I wasn't sure there was a need to have relationship with the town council as a specific category. It goes without saying that the manager is unable to get much done without a relationship with the council. But um, I'll be interested in the formulation that I've just seen. And I think also the racial equity and community safety, that could be combined because even the CSSGC in a way already has that combination within itself. So I think um, we could have community safety, have racial equity as one, and then have community engagement and relationship with the local higher institutions. Thank you. Um, I want to review a couple of the comments that we got from Mandy. I think they're, I think, Folks are pretty aligned on, on what we said. And then I got comments from Pam that I'm going to fold in below. Um, so Mandy talked about similarly folding community health and safety into another goal. Um, and then this was something I was thinking about too. I don't think that major capital investments should be broken out into its own. I think that this is part of infrastructure management um, and is more of an objective underneath that category. So I would advocate to fold that um, under infrastructure down below. Um, and then similarly, there were a couple that Mandy talked about once we get to the objective, sorry, I was trying to pull, get all the feedback over. Um, and then, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, uh, and then we had talked, I had, I had the same thought of blending community engagement with the um, higher ed institution, or sorry, blending those in. Um, and Mandy said this was, is more of an objective within community engagement, um, which I think is valid, a valid point as well. Of They are part of the community, so maybe that specific type of relationship is more of uh, an objective. George? I like um, taking the major capital projects and moving it into a broader category. Um, I think at this stage, that makes sense. Um, and I think you'd place basically put it under uh, infrastructure. I forget whatever the category is, but I like moving that out of its own category 
into another one. I like the idea of perhaps trying to combine these kinds of relationship uh, engagement type categories into a single category and then break. I think that was Lynn's suggestion and sounded like Freke also agreed that we could take some of these, um, uh, I forget the term that you use, but essentially uh, they involve engagement and relationships, town, gown, um, and town, maybe even town council could go there. But mm -hmm. um, again, a single category and then they could be in theory broken out um, that may be more of a challenge breaking them into particular objectives, but I like combining that into a single category, but I'm going to push back. Uh, so those two I like, and I think we could get somewhere there, but I'm going to push back on separating out racial equity and social justice from community health and safety. Um, I think there's a history here that I think we're still very much in the process of trying to work our way through. And I would still personally like to keep um, that goal as its own uh, item and uh, reflecting a, a commitment the council has made and still I think has a way to go in order to realize it um, separate from the broader idea or this separate from the idea of community health and safety. Um, so I, I guess I'm sympathetic to two of these suggestions to combine, um, but I would push back a bit on the notion of moving uh, social justice and racial equity into a broad category. Um, I'd like to keep it still um, as something that council um, prioritizes as its own. That's just my thought. Um, I can't raise my hand while I'm sharing screen without clicking on 17,000 things, so raising my hand. I, when we look at the goals that had in the past been placed under community health and safety, it was facilitate the implementation of the residential rental bylaw, continue implementation and assessment of community responders for equity, safety, and service, propose to the town council a plan for the creation of a resident oversight board, undertake a review of public safety protocols, and develop programming for youth empowerment. Um, and so I think my question initially was, what was the origin of the community health and safety goal? Where did that come from? And I was wondering, was it around pre-COVID? Was it around pre-George Floyd? Was like, where did this, and what did it look like in its original iteration? And I did not go back to look, and that's on me. Um, but I, I was curious about the purpose of that goal. Um, it mostly pertains to our public safety departments, um, with the exception of a programming for youth empowerment, which we haven't figured out what specific action items are in there, but um, I think, George, I, I agree, because I think that there are also elements of community health and safety that may extend beyond a goal of racial equity and social justice as well. So I do think that we, if we have goals that are more specific to community health and safety, it makes sense to keep it as an area. Um, well, I and and are broad, right? Like aren't yeah. addressing racial yeah. justice needs. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead, George. No, I'm sorry to interrupt. I I would think of of seniors, of you know, in terms of community health and safety. Mm -hmm. I would think of uh, pedestrian and bike issues. I mean, just literally yeah. physical safety of residents, um, uh, our senior community. Um, also, perhaps, certainly, you know, mental health. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I think that those are sort of all lumped together onto a general umbrella of community health and safety. But I think there's a history here that we need to respect, and we still have a long way to work through that mm -hmm. uh, r relates to social, uh, racial justice and, and equity. And I, I don't, I'm not comfortable just throwing that into this broad category of just general community health and safety. I think there are pretty clear things we can put into community health and safety um, that would not fit under a, um, you know, certainly not into a racial justice or social equity um, category. So that's, I still, I think there's a fair amount that could go into community health and safety. I agree. Um, and I also think when you look at the, what had been placed under racial equity and social justice in past years, they're much broader, um, and a lot of them might be more objectives that, as we tease this out, um, yeah. Are folks comfortable leaving them separate for now and kind of seeing where we get with objectives later on to see if we should combine them? Councillor Ette? 
Yep, I'm fine with that. I okay. can find uh, the um, comments persuasive. Yeah, I am too. Good job, George. Um, yeah, I mean, okay. we'll, see, we'll see how it plays out. I think when we finally yeah. look at specific objectives, I have a feeling it will be fine, but I'm open to, to argument the other way. But at the moment, I'd like to keep it the way it is. But I don't know, do we want to try and at this point, see if we can take those other two categories and, yes. and shape them into a, a single, so we could at least reduce it by two? Yeah, um, that was what I was thinking what we could okay. do next. So we talked about community engagement and relationship with local higher education institutions um, as two that could possibly be combined. Uh, Lynn, you had called these, I had yours. Strategic up. relationships. Okay, thank you. Strategic relationships. Strategic relationships. Um, I think I think that's an option. I also, hmm. Okay, let me, let me just ask the committee, what do folks think about strategic relationships? No thoughts. Okay. Well, I think it, I think it sounds oh, good. You like I, it? Okay. I suppose it's start. Uh, yeah. What is Frickett? Sounds right. So the, with strategic relationships, that puts back the for me the the section on the town council's relationship to the town manager. So I think that's broader and makes sense. So you and you're saying combine all three of these? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess I really, for me, I like having the word community in there um, because I do think that this is about not everything, I don't know, I guess everything is towards an end of supporting uh, positive relationships, but I guess I just feel like losing the, the framework of community engagement um, makes it feel What about community personal. and strategic relationships? Would that be, is that? I would prefer that. Uh, because I, I truly, like, I think the town manager showing up at the farmer's market isn't necessarily a strategic move, but it helps to support community. Right, exactly. You know? right. Um, so. All right, so if we said, I'm going to start a new row here. Um, so we say community and strategic relationships. I also like that because, to be honest, we have a ton of goals that are about, um, like seeking federal funding and being really strategic in those ways. And I think that can tie in there too. Mm -hmm. um, so we are saying community and strategic relationships. And I'm going to add a note here that says combination category of community engagement relationship with council and relationship with higher ed. Okay, so um, I will pull those three. Uh, I want to take a second. Oh, go ahead, Lynn. I was. Oh, if we're done with this, I was. I'd like to stay on the management goals and just go back to uh, kind of where I came out with my other suggestion. But if you're not ready for that, it's fine. Which one? Uh, okay, are folks ready to move past this for the time being in terms of the big area? Okay. Um, Link, go ahead and so scroll up. Give me one second just to X these so I don't forget later. Okay. Where am I scrolling to? So under administration and leadership. Okay. I included something. I think I can't. I'm not looking at my own thing. And something called administration, because something okay. called personnel management. And I can't remember now whether I put finance in as a category or sep or left it as a separate one. Um, hang on, I have it. Uh, you said you said administration, finance, personnel management, infrastructure management, maintenance, right. and land stewardship. Right. So I think that you can take all of the rest of the administrative goals and put it into a category called administration and leadership. I agree with the one exception of uh, infrastructure management, because I think that if we want to talk about major capital investments and we want to talk about those separately, keeping those separate, like keeping those broken apart might make sense for now. I think I'm persuadable on this, but I agree that moving personnel management absolutely feels like part of, it feels redundant. Same with finance. I agree. Any other 
thoughts on that? So we're talking about combining Lynn's initial proposal was to have, you said keep it administration and leadership, right? As the category, yeah. mm -hmm. but include personnel management, finance and, infra or, and infrastructure management. I did propose infrastructure management yep. under that, but then under that would be capital projects. Okay, so would it stay titled administration and leadership? I mean, those are very broad terms. I'm comfortable with that being a broad term and then under it having, you know, maybe the three things that are right now under admi administration and leadership would be called administration goals. And then there would be another one called um, personnel. And then there would be another called finance and then another one called infrastructure. Hmm. So, okay. I, and let me let me further elaborate why I because yeah, I'm thinking about when we actually go to evaluate the town manager. This is the areas of the administrative goals I think are the hardest ones to actually say we have any direct experience with. Okay. Mm -hmm. We, in some ways we do, we see a budget, we see a capital plan, but the reality is we don't get into personnel management and we don't get into, you know, all of the things that he's doing now with um, sustainability and buildings and infrastructure and sewers and stuff like that. So in some ways, I think one of the areas where we really have an opportunity to collapse the number of goals is in this area. And so I tried to make it into two broad administrative goals. So what I worry about with that is we do seek feedback from the staff for the town manager's performance evaluation. And the reason is that there is no other kind of check, right? There's no other, uh, and I, I'm very much removing Paul from this discussion because this is, I don't, I think Paul's doing doing great at his, his management, but, but I think that there's no other opportunity for us to talk about the town manager's work as a supervisor and, and that type of, that part of the job, right? I think that if we aren't, if we currently don't feel equipped, we need to change our system to have it so that his direct reports have to submit an evaluation or, you know, and make it an actual 360 feedback process and not have it be, um, something that we're kind of guessing based on who happens to turn in a survey, which tends to be people who are either really happy or really not happy. So I, I think that we need to do a better job at getting feedback, but I don't wanna lose that part of the goals because the goals are also the evaluation document. Uh, Lynn? Yeah, but if, so if you actually look at the town manager's self-evaluation, mm -hmm. he has, he talks about personnel. And so as long as it stays at the objective level, we still have a feedback level. And that's, so I'm, again, it's, I keep thinking about other places where we, they don't get into the finite nature of the job. I'm trying to come into mm -hmm. something that is more in line with the job and if, as long as personnel and finance and infrastructure are at the objective level, we haven't lost sight of them. I'm comfortable with that. I just want them to be in the objective level. Yep. George? So I'm just trying to figure out what's being proposed. Um, what I'm hearing is that we're not losing any of these categories and that in our evaluation of the town manager and in his self-evaluation, these will somehow be uh, there. Um, but at the moment, we're just trying to uh, combine at least some of them into a single broad category. Um, That's correct. And we're going to call that broad category. Administration and leadership. And under that, we're going to have. So this yeah. is where we're kind of kicking the can down the road a little in a way that could be helpful um, because we're trying to limit the number of objectives in each category, right? So. I think that this is a fair point because I do think these are redundant, but we have to remember that uh, we also can't have 12 objectives per goal, right? So 
we're looking at maybe broader objectives when we when we start talking about it, such as to effectively supervise and manage the town's workforce. That's an objective. And then if there are specific action items, so for example, last year it was, uh, I think it included something about doing, uh, ensuring competitive compensation, right? Um, that would be more of an action item within that. So it, it will mean paring down at the objective level more significantly than we're doing now. So when I look at the existing document, Mm -hmm. And I look under uh, Roman numeral one, administration and leadership, which now we're proposing to be a, a general category that would have these as sub, uh, as objectives within it. It's almost as if administration and leadership, all that language, um, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, um, essentially just disappears. And then administration and leadership involves how you manage and supervise the workforce how you, um, you know, handle our financial affairs and how you manage and maintain our capital and public assets, including our, cap our large capital projects. Um, and administration leadership is essentially those three things. Is there something under administration and leadership that, that should come out separately and be added? Um, when I look at it, I mean, the way it reads in that first paragraph, Basically, you have to go back and read the Home Rule Charter, which I have to confess I didn't do, um, to understand what this is about. Um, but my sense is, and I'm probably wrong, is that what this is about is essentially what's articulated under Roman 2, 3, and 4. Is that is that a fair statement, or am I missing something about 1 that needs to be uh, brought out? Uh, is there something about administration leadership in and of itself that's not in some sense covered by two, three, and four. Or maybe that's uh, I think that we're trying to kind of do what you say in reverse, that's, right? Uh, that's kind yeah. of what you have in mind. Yeah, I think so. But Lynn, let me let me go ahead and call. Is that what Lynn has in mind? That's what no, I'm saying. So let me try this. So the broad category would be administration and leadership. Under there, under it would be an objective that basically I think could combine the three objectives you see there right now. You would say administration, uh, you would say under administration and leadership, effectively the top one by itself. And then the bottom two could be combined into one to say, this is what we mean by the broad category by leadership or administration. And then under personnel, um, Sorry, I'm just saying it could look like this. Yeah. Right. Well, and I, then I uh, I'll read it to you. Uh, yeah. it's a, maintain essential municipal services and improve delivery of services to residents and businesses. So that would be kind of combo. Mm -hmm. And then. And then person, yeah. but it, that would, uh, under it would be going back up. The uh, It would almost be like right now, the way we have goals written, we have a colon and then we have one, two, three, and four. So this might be administration leadership would be goal one under management. Administration would be A or whatever. And then A would have two colon areas after it. No, it. <laughs> no, we got to be the, the, the purpose of this style then is to, is to get it so that it's everything is broken out into its own piece. And so. I'm not saying no from my opinion, right? Like obviously the committee can do what it wants, but but I think to we need to be able to articulate an objective that's a clear and concise item and not a list. That's the, the purpose of this is to get away from the multiple items underneath each category. So I think my view of it was to take the the objectives from the the way that we wrote the goals last time, right? Like there's always um the objective listed and then the colon. It may shift, but what I started doing in this document was pulling just that first objective in and then going to action items after that. But I, I think that what we what we want to avoid is getting so expansive in our objectives that we lose the purpose. I think That's they fine. need to be really simple, really much more high level. But I think that what you're saying, what what I took you to be saying was we should have an objective that pertains to the way administrative and leadership was framed before an objective that pertains to personnel and management and an objective that pertains to finance. Is that? Absolutely. 
that that is what I meant. Okay. And, okay. Gotcha. And, I mean, I don't, I want, I'd like to get away from excessive wordiness, just like you're suggesting. That's exactly what I meant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Councilor Ryan. Okay. Maybe this is getting clear, but uh, so again, what is this larger goal title? Um, it's not administration leadership because that's now become one of the objectives under, is it management? No, then? no, no, sorry. No, Go George, administrative, administration and leadership is still the goal area. The right. objective would be, the two objectives would be these two things, right? So effectively and appropriately administer the operations of the town, dot, 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 pursuant to the charter and maintain essential municipal services and improve the delivery of services to residents and businesses. Those are two, object, two of the objectives. And, and then we would add- right. And then we would add further objectives such as effectively supervise and manage the town's workforce. These are just examples and ensure the town's strong financial and fiscal health. Those would be two other objectives. So what we're saying is that the title of administration and leadership encompasses personnel management and finance. And so what we then would need to do is figure out what objectives go under this big, the, the category of administration and leadership. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're saying would be combined under admin and leadership. And it doesn't um, weaken them and, or, or lessen their importance. It's really just trying to reduce redundancies to make this a little bit simpler of a document. Because I think the idea was like the administration and leadership of the town includes ensuring its financial health, includes uh, super supervising the workforce, includes executing the, uh, the duties of the town manager. Those three things are administration and leadership. So good. Go back up then to the very first one. And, and I, it's probably just me not thinking clearly after too many meetings, but... No, you're fine. Um, What's what? What is that first uh, objective saying? Other than is it effectively and appropriately administer the operations of the town? I, the rest of it pursuant to nobody's going to read that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, um, unless you know it's just. So what's the point of that statement? And how is that different than the other things we're, we're cutting? We're, we're highlighting below. Um, it, it, it maybe it's obvious to everybody but me. But it sounds like. Uh, Maintaining initial, essential municipal services, improve delivery, effectively supervise your workforce, improve cooperation, inspire, whatever. Those are all yeah. things that fall under administration leadership. How does that first objective say something different than, than anything else? What's it saying? Somebody tell me. And, and what's different about it than it just seems like verbiage. Is it or yeah. is something important there that I'm missing? I believe that is the section of the charter that outlines the job duties of the town manager. Right. Yeah, I, I'm sure it is. But what's, so that's, what's I, the point? I, yeah. What is that? I think mean? that's why it's just saying do your job. Here's your job yeah, description. And, and, do your job. That seems ridiculous. Uh, get it out of there is what I would say. Okay. But but what uh, am I, I'm missing something. So what am I missing? I don't know. Uh, but let me go. Let me go to Councilor Arte and then or, Councilor Arte, are you responding to George? I am. I, I know you are, Lynn. So I'm just making sure. Oh no, you are not. Councillor Archie, is your thought on this or is it on something it, else? It, 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 it is on this. Okay. And I think if we go in along with um, Councillor Ryan, eliminated a lot of those words like the adverbs, then what you have with administration and, and leadership would just be administer the operations of town affairs. That's really what um, administration and leadership is. The next one would be, let's see, um, supervise the town's workforce. Um, it would be to ensure the town is financially and fiscally healthy. And then with the goals, we could fill in some of those slots. So I think, Ryan, um, you may be overthinking what it is that is being done in terms of having everything 
together. I would agree with you that we can eliminate a lot of the words like the section 3.2. I also saw that earlier today and didn't go to check to see what it was in the charter. You know, so let's make it simple. Um, I can I can read that section of the charter if folks would like me to. Uh, it's very me, long. Yeah, um, let me do But that. if you do want to do it, it's on page 11 of the charter. Yeah. Uh, and it, it does say basically what you were saying, right? Um, I, I do think, let me go to Lynn and then I'll, I'll say my own thoughts. Lynn, go ahead. Oh, you're muted. Uh, basically, I think that we could put a preliminary up in the opening paragraph of the goals that everything is pursuant to the charter and get rid of this sentence. Okay, let me say it that in this one. Um, but what I'm, I'm sorry to be so obtuse, but what I'm struggling with is what that sentence says it, that's different from all the other stuff below it. Uh, and it's just, you know, so isn't maintaining essential municipal services and supervising your personnel and ensuring the fiscal health of the town, et cetera, et cetera. Aren't those all essentially effectively, whoops, we just lost my text. Uh, no, you're getting, I'm or sorry. There something you're there you're getting the charter now. No, I don't, I've got the charter in front of me. I don't need to see it. I, yeah. And it is, you're right. It goes I think, out yeah, go ahead. It's a long one. Go ahead. I think George, to your point, I, I do believe we need a section in here that because this is the evaluation document, I feel strongly that we should have something in here where we are ensuring we are evaluating the town manager on the duty, on executing the duties of his job. So I think that underneath that though, uh, one of the things that is different here, so maintain essential municipal services. Yes, that is part of effectively and appropriately administering the operations of the town. Uh, I would say that improving the delivery of services to residents and businesses is not necessarily something that's outlined in the charter, right? We're saying make it better mm -hmm. um, continuously. So I think that we could go through, but if we if we call out the ones that we particularly want to emphasize, it gives us the ability to evaluate the town manager on those specific areas. So otherwise we have to, in our uh, evaluation, go through and look at items A through X on this list. So, which feels like a lot. Um, no, so I'm, could, you yeah. know, so yeah. I'm wondering, so yeah. I, I think that there's like big, pic I'm wondering if there's a big, I hear your, I do hear your point, but I'm wondering if there's like a big picture objective of do the duties of the town manager and then other objectives that are like, these are the specific ones that we are focusing on in this set of goals, right? Uh, these are the specific ones that we think are most important. Um, of those job duties or things that we're asking beyond that. So I, I'm hearing this, I think, and I guess I'm just being dense, but I think what you're both saying, what you're all saying is, look, there is something to that basically that covers effective and appropriate administration of the town's operations. Um, that is a separate category, it covers a fair amount of ground, as you point out in the charter, that is distinct from uh, maintaining services, supervising your, your workforce, et cetera and should stay in there either in the very same language it is now or with the charter language removed, whatever people feel like. But it does sound like, as I listen to what you all are saying, that it is making an important distinct point and should stay there and allows us to then evaluate him and for him to self-evaluate. Uh, if we take it out, that that takes out a lot. And, and I think though, George, that's a, a good discerning eye to use as we look at these, because when I when we get to this part, I think these two need to be combined in order to say something different than just what's in the job description. So, you know, we would say effectively supervise and manage the town's workforce and improve cooperation and coordination. But the other part that we're missing is we need to have specific, we should ideally have specific action items for each of these. And that also might dictate which ones go in an objective versus don't. Um, so like last year, one thing I really pushed for was looking at um, salaries and benefits, right? And, and looking at that. And so, this um, this one in particular would have been a good objective last year because the action item would have been ensure competitive wages, right? Or something like that. Yeah, um, yeah. Lynn? 
No. Okay. So here's where I feel like, oh, George, is your, no. Okay. So here's where I think we're getting, I think we're getting closer. Um, so with this area, so we've got administration and leadership, and then uh, we're kind of, we're dabbling in objectives now, just, but it's okay. So to effectively, or I shouldn't say to, it should say effectively. So start. Okay. Effectively and appropriately administer the operations of town affairs pursuant to the Home Rule Charter. Done. Um, and then maintain essential municipal services and improve the delivery of services to residents and businesses. Done. Cut that out. And then we could, uh, what I was pitching before would be to take this. Um, Oh my gosh, jumping all over the place. And have it the objective read effectively supervise and manage the town's resource workforce, excuse me, to improve cooperation and coordination of services across departments. Now up above we have maintain essential municipal services and improve the delivery of services to residents and businesses. Um, and now we I have don't know if I should say of services. Well, just, I'm wondering if um and, co and coordination across departments i and i yeah i think that's better because that's what we're talking about right we're talking about their work not necessarily right. just yeah, their services. we're talking about how they work together and how they achieve synergies as opposed to the actual services and whether they actually get delivered and how they're delivered i'm so glad the word synergies is going to be in. <laughs> all right um this i think is baloney um, I'm just my personal belief. Not it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad yeah, thing. Right, exactly. This is not a, uh, an effective objective is my take. Yeah. I do not think that we should be asking anyone to inspire anything. I think that he can demonstrate it, it himself, but that there are too many other factors that go into other people being inspired uh, that I don't think that that is a fair ask. Yeah, especially residents and visitors. What is toward? Yeah, I mean it's all, uh, all. <laughs> well, I mean it's it's a lovely idea. Um, I don't it's a it's lovely idea, but I, I just I don't know how we get actionable from that. So I would propose cutting that, and that looks really brutal on paper. And I just I'm on the record saying this is a good idea, but it's not a good goal because it's not actionable. I hope well, I get Yeah, yeah. But I think, I mean, what we could, if you wanted to, we could change this to be lead with an attitude of respect, helpfulness, courtesy, and sensitivity. If folks wanted those that language in there, I mean, we could that, keep it. Again, that's, yeah. you know, that's not, you can't evaluate him on that. Um, okay. And then the last uh, area in here was foster proactive anti-racist culture throughout all town departments. This was one that had a lot of discussion in the last council. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it will probably have a lot of discussion in this council. I don't have an issue with this being an objective. I actually really like it as an objective. Mm -hmm. My question mark comes when we come to action items. This has been my question mark with this one, same with the climate lens. Um, we need to clarify what we expect mm -hmm. from this. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it, it means everything and nothing. Um, and so I think that's that's my, I'm just prepping us for discussion on that one. Councilor Ate? I thought of this one and I am ambivalent about it, but I, I could see something like pushing um, equity training as being part of something that would be related to um, a proactive culture. So this, mm -hmm. unlike the previous deleted portion is one where there is the possibility of having something that is measurable whether it should be measurable is the question. I agree. Um, I, I agree. I, I think, but to your point, that's something we should be writing in the green box, right? Like, yeah, exactly. Um, let's look at finance and what we want to pull over from finance into this admin. And um, are folks comfortable if I just delete the things that I've X'd out just to kind of try to get this a little bit more organized? No? For the moment, maybe maybe I, I am All right, okay. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. want to make sure everyone's clear on what we're doing here. Okay. So we're in the finance area, which again is getting combined underneath uh, admin and leadership. Um, so I pulled this from the last set of goals. First uh, objective, ensuring the town's strong financial and fiscal health. 
these were again, and this was my opinion on what I thought lent itself to being objectives from last year's goals. Uh, and then implement town financial management policies and objectives and other sound financial management policies and objectives. Very confusing. Uh, Lynn? Oh, you're muted. But I think I know exactly what you're about to say because it's- I get rid of the second say. one and keep the first. I do not know what this means. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it means, but it's it's like, if if you do the first, you've done the second. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Um, okay, so we've got a pitch to to- this one any thoughts on that let's think about it for a second oh yeah 100 yeah i know yeah counselor essay um, of the same mind i could you explain what the first is what the second is because i'm looking at my list which i didn't send and okay. i have ensure the town's financial and fiscal health as one um, effectively administer the budget as to and implement the town's financial management policies. Um, mm. But it is possible that I might be combining things just as Lynn had mentioned. So perhaps a bit more explanation would be helpful for me. Yeah. Um, I do wonder as I'm thinking about this and staring at it, I'm wondering if there's, so I do think that this second part, other sound financial management policies and practices is very much the ensuring the town's strong financial and fiscal health. And I think Councilor Arte, this is what you were saying, is this part is possibly a little, it should lead to ensuring strong financial health, but we are not saying go rogue and do whatever you want, we're saying implement the town financial management policies and objectives that have already been created, right? Like that's, um, so I, I, I can see value in the, in bringing this first part in. And mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it would read, ensure the town's strong financial and fiscal health through the implementation of town financial management policies and objectives. Councilor Ate? Let me just say yeah. I'm getting a, a very wonderful education on this entire process. This is something that I normally would be um, skittish about. So thank you, everyone. I have for the goals to increase and maximize revenue. That goal, would it be better as something under ensure the town's financial and fiscal health, which is where I put it, or how would that be placed in something like implement the town's financial management policies? Um, can you say that again? I'm not sure I fully absorbed it. I'm sorry. So for the green, the green box, which is where yeah. we have, yes, the goals, I have increase and maximize revenue. If that is a goal, what would be the objective that would be the closest to it? So I see that as an objective. Because I don't know, is that math? Is that measurable? Or is that, you know, how do we, how do we know that we've done that? And I'm, that, that's not a rhetorical question. I genu genuinely like, I'm, I'm just not thinking of it, but how? Is that is maximizing revenue right now where we are? Because again, they can be. I, I would argue they can be slightly overlapping if there's something we want to particularly emphasize, and if seeking revenue sources, which I think is smart, uh, generally as an idea, but also smart to bring in here, could be a good objective because we also, in multiple other areas, have talked about seeking grants, seeking like those are things that have been highlighted. So maybe that is worthy of its own objective here. Any other thoughts? So right now, Councilor Arte is saying the language about seeking, where was that? Was Did you pull that or did you write that? Um, so that was part of the financial, let's see. The last one, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, increase, utilize, and maximize revenue and shared yeah. regional resources. Okay. Number three, yeah. Yeah, number three. So 
um, do folks, yeah, I, I could see it going either way. I just, I do question about increase could be anything. And so that, that is measurable, increase is measurable. So I can, I can be satisfied with that. But I think that if it's something we really, if we have specifics beyond that, that we want to see happen, it should be an objective. But if we don't, it could fit under a goal within the, that policy part that we talked about. Isn't this fun? No, it's not. Um, Lynn, <laughs> uh, you had, I, if I remember correctly, felt that that second statement um, should be stricken as it currently is, and that the first statement is more than adequate. Um, and I'd like to hear, because you have far more experience with the finance end of things than, than I do, by sure. Um, you don't feel that that second statement, I mean, because what... If I understood uh, Anna correctly, she was suggesting, well, you could take that or part of it and add it to the, to ensure the town's strong financial and fiscal health by implementing or, and in addition, implement that second statement you feel is really not very helpful or redundant or, so help me see why that shouldn't be there. Part of me, the, now we'll get into my larger philosophy about goals, okay? How the town manager achieves goals is multivariant. And so if you say, okay, to achieve this goal, you have to do it this way. Well, I can tell you there's at least three or four other documents he should refer to. So just to ensure the town's strong fiscal and financial health, you know how I would measure this? What's our bond rating? Bottom line, yeah, what do our reserves yeah. look like? Right. Did we balance our budget? I don't need to say, did we follow this process or this policy, or did we listen to the guidelines, the town council, just sound policy. So Lynn, do you think that, okay, so your goal in that case, so I do think that there is a space, if we have a specific way that we do want him to achieve a goal, then we should be able to articulate that in this green column. Um, and I think if there's a way that, I do think it's helpful if there is something, like you just said, our bond rating, right? So it could be maintain or improve the town's bond rating. That could be an action item here. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to be, but I, I'm, I'm saying like, I think there needs to be something that we can look back to at the end of the year and say, did we ensure this town's strong financial and fiscal health? And there may be other things he did that support that objective and he can speak to those and that's helpful. But if there are specific things we expect, we should be able to articulate them as an actionable uh, right. thing. Let, so yeah. let me take this area and just you know give you some thoughts, okay? Mm -hmm. When we did the fiscal indicators the other night, okay? When I look at the fiscal indicators, it's what's our bond rating? What's our debted indebtedness? Did we follow the town council's fiscal policies? Did we follow the guidelines? Did we follow this? And by the time we get done enumerating all of those, the bottom line is when he stands up there and says to us, here's what our bond rating is, here's what our indebtedness is, et cetera, et cetera, he has told us fiscal health. I, I just, you don't, this is a high management level position. If he doesn't know what fiscal health is, we shouldn't have hired him. And he does know what fiscal health is. I don't disagree with you right. on Paul knowing it. it. For me, it's about the council being able to look at this and effectively evaluate Paul on it. Then if you, if you, it, it over in the next column, which I forget what that's called. Okay. I think action, action items. Action items. Action yeah. items. Maybe in those action items, we actually list some of the indicators. Uh, maybe it's called action item indicators sure. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And in there, we might list bond rating, blah, 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 blah. But the bottom line is it's fiscal health. That makes sense to me. So people are feeling that that by itself is sufficient for us to, and I'm not saying it isn't, but it's sufficient for us to generate, if we so desire as a council, specific action items. Yeah. And the further language here doesn't really 
help us uh, in doing that. Um, it, it's perfectly adequate the way it is. So let me, yeah, okay. Go ahead, let, me, let me give you an example that came out of our council discussion the other night. Yeah. Some people are questioning why we, whether or not we should be a little less conservative mm -hmm. in our budgeting. And so a specific issue for this coming year may be to find a better balance between conservative and a positively balanced budget. So it, but I'm it, there. That's all I have to say. No, I could imagine that. That I'm not saying I would support it, but I could imagine that being presented as a potential fiscal goal for the for the the manager in the coming year that we not end up with such a large surplus. Um, and you know, if enough people vote for it, that could be an objective. Um, and but what you're saying is that to ensure the town's strong financial and fiscal health, that is that's fine enough for us to then put that objective in there if we so choose. And this other language really doesn't uh, help us all that much more, and so it can be stricken. Yeah, that's Councilor. Okay. Thank you, Councilor Um In that case, I'm wondering where we would put. So we have this as an action item to effectively disperse APA funds, would that fall under ensuring the town's financial and fiscal health? Okay. It could, but it also could be something that if we had done this this way, because obviously that's done now, but if we had done this in this method last year, it could have been stewardship of ARPA funds, and then there could have been a specific goal within it to support XYZ projects with ARPA funds. Um, so I, I think you could argue it either way. I, I think that if something is rising to the to a to a level of importance so that the council wants to make a separate objective about it, they can. Um, but that I agree that ensuring the town's strong financial and fiscal health could be broad enough. Um, yeah, I could see I could argue either way, to be honest, either as an objective or an action item. My issue is that it's very much up for interpretation as to what effectively distribute means. Um, and so I, that would be my challenge to that. Sorry, I'm trying to find my other window here. Um, that would be my challenge to that particular one, if you're in the example you're giving, um, is that I, I don't think that it's consistent. Like when GOL looks at this, I don't think that that is something that is consistently understood across counselors uh, to mean the same thing. So I think our action items and our objectives should, or our action items especially need to be, um, when they are accomplished, everyone agrees that that is accomplished. Not some people wanted it accomplished differently and so they don't like it. Yeah, um, because I so had I that under um, effectively administer the budget. Um, mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. and I think, if I may add or point out this thought that that's like a given. I mean, right, it's right. I'm not sure it needs to be mentioned at all, quite frankly, um, unless there's some particular concern we have about the budget and how it's being administered. Um, it, it's it's one of those things that I think doesn't need to be uh, in here, um, is my thought. Um, and uh, it's just, it falls generally under this broad category that we've described. Um, and it's like, you know, produce a balanced budget. Well, if he doesn't, we're all in trouble. So, um, and he's probably out of a job. So it's, um, yeah. Um, okay. okay. Um, Lynn. Sorry. No, I have no comment. Oh, okay. So I'm this sorry, is still I? under administration and leadership, right? This is correct. Still, right. Okay. Yes, correct. Okay. Councilor Ate? This will be my last on this because I, I I more or less agree again with 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 Lynn. I'm um, I'm just trying to make sure that the mm -hmm. the form fits entirely. It's about it's buffering at ninety eight percent. It's two percent that I'm struggling with, you know. Um, but yes, I, I I do think there's a benefit to having it just as ensure the town's financial and fiscal health which is one, it captures a lot and doesn't leave room for 
interpretations that could go and veer in other directions. It leaves room for the town manager to get the work done and we see the results. So um, yeah, I think I'm fine with having it as what it is. And if we really wanted to, we could say propose a balanced budget for FY26 or whatever year we're in um, as an action item, I think under that. Okay, so um, I'm keeping an eye on time. We end at eight or 8.30, help me someone. I've been chairing this for how long? 8.30. 8.30, okay. So we have two proclamations. So I'm gonna do a quick time check on us. Um, I think I'm gonna give us a half an hour for the proclamations, unless someone is feeling like they have a hugely marked up version, please tell me now and I if I need more time. Are you saying I need more time, El Sarte? We'll, we'll make it. We'll see. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give us a half an hour for that. So let's, let's plug along here. My goal for us today, um, I'd like us to get uh, the goal categories done, which I think we, we're almost there. And then it seems like we're starting to center in on objectives. And so let's get as far as we can with objectives. Lynn, do you think that it would make sense to when, what would you like us to bring back to the council next? Cause I will need council input on objectives, um, but I, it seems like it's more helpful for us to draft them and then folks to add in. Um, I don't know, I, I can gather, in, I'm trying to think about how to make this so that GOL brings to the council something that folks feel like they have been able to have input on. And so we can minimize discussion at, as 13 people because folks have already been able to contribute if that makes sense. I might be wishful thinking, but that is my, that is my hope. It, it's, George, thank you. <laughs> it's wishful it's thinking. It's I know, example. but I, I'm going to try. That's a classic example of wishful thinking. Yeah, I know. Right. One of the, one of the options is that if we could come up with the broad categories and mm -hmm. enough detail, not total final under the objectives to take to the council by the 18th, that'd be mm -hmm. phenomenal. All right. Let's see where we get in the next 20 minutes. Um, and let's see where, we, yeah, uh, let's see where we get. So we have one other one that Lynn, you had pitched go under administration and leadership and I'm of two minds on it. So I wanna talk about it. Infrastructure management, maintenance and land stewardship. Um, and I, I actually do wanna look at the, I don't, I'm not necessarily, this is, this for me feels less about administering the executive duties of the town and leading the staff. It, it ties into both of those, but it also for me feels slightly different because of how expansive it can get. Um, that's that's where that's where my mind is split. But I'd really love to hear from other folks on this. Um, just as a reminder, what this included in the previous iterations, the objective was to maintain and manage the town's capital and public assets. Uh, in it included ensure that the town's facilities and infrastructure are well maintained and safe, propose a five-year capital improvement program, uh, I'm, I'm abbreviating, include the capital, capital inventory a timeline for transitions away from fossil fuels, uh, propose a plan to develop options for disposition of uh, town-owned unused properties, list of road and sidewalk repairs. This feels different enough or yeah, big enough? Does, yeah, it does to me as well, and I think it's yeah. a standalone is my initial thought um uh, i think this has got so much in it and it does it is i think qualitatively different from the sort of management and administrative tasks um it involves a lot of long-range thinking and planning and um and a core basically are the very foundations of what we uh, we we rely on so i would like to keep it as a separate category is my thought are you okay with that one Councilor Arte, what do you think? I could go either way on that one. I, I I'm fine to keep it separate. Okay, Councilor Arte. Separate from. Uh, away from uh, separate as its own goal area instead of moving it under administration. And administration. And okay, yeah, because I was wondering about the other category that deals with capital projects. That would go in here. That would go in here. Okay. Yeah, that's, yep. yes. that's that was my thought too. Was yeah. those should be under this. At this so, point, I think after five, six years, it's, you know, we just need to, yeah. Yeah. Right. So where we are then now, if we look at these categories broadly, climate action, 
school area one. Uh, we are landing on community health and safety, economic vitality. Lynn, you had included these two together, I think. I would did. you like to speak? Would you like to speak to that? Yeah, it it does seem to me that so much of what the town can possibly do with relationship to housing is around affordable housing. So many of the goals that are presently in housing, like ensure a higher number of year round residents. I, I don't see how the town can do anything with regard to that. But if what we feel is maintaining economic vitality is that we have a diverse set of housing, et cetera, the town can do things about that. So to me, part of economic development, economic vitality is the diversity of our housing. Mm. I think we're, I'm going to get pushback on this one. I know. And, mm -hmm. uh, but I, but remember my goal is to try to get the policy goals down to four. And so I'm trying to look for where there's synergy. That That's all. I, You know, maybe it can't be done, but um, I'm not giving up. <laughs> I, I'm going to raise my hand. I hear you. I don't know that it necessarily needs to be done, to be honest. My thought on this is I think there's economic vitality, I actually don't think I, I would want to shift housing affordability to be more about community development um, and, and include other elements that are about growing our community. Um, it would include affordable housing, but it also would include things like, um, I don't, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's, it's totally out of our scope, but I think if we are talking about a, um, youth Empowerment Center, if we are talking about uh, school, how we might support the school in a different way. I think that there's there are other things that might go into this beyond just housing, um, mm -hmm. but that might be such a, it's it's a very messy thought in my head right now that I'm, I'm having trouble pinning down. George? Maybe this isn't the place to have this discussion. Maybe there is no place to have it, but... Um... There is a tension, at least in my understanding, between housing affordability as it's traditionally understood, which is probably largely what this category is about, and economic vitality. Um, an economically vital community has to find a balance between its commitment to affordable housing as it's traditionally understood and its own long-range economic viability, and especially in a community where property taxes make up so much of our revenues. So there's a tension that we often don't address or discuss that I'd like us to address and discuss at some point more directly. Maybe it'll come in, it hasn't come in the housing production plan that I'm aware of yet. Um, but anyway, between the goal of economic vitality and the idea of creating affordable in the traditional sense that is below 80% median housing, this community does a very good job, uh, a very good job actually, of producing affordable housing, um, but it's really struggling with affordable housing, if you get my drift. Um, capital A versus lowercase a. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yep. And and that's something that we allied in this document. And we often, I think, fudge over in our discussions and in some of our public fora about this issue. We just don't, for whatever reason, it doesn't really get addressed, I think. So um, uh, it's part of the question is, what does a housing affordability mean here? Is it affordability in capital A in traditional sense or is housing affordability small a? Um, do we want to even go there? But if we're not going there, then why do we even have this category except, you know, I know what economic vitality means. I know what housing affordability means in the traditional sense. Um, and they're both laudable goals uh, and they're both important. But there is a real tension between economic vitality and housing affordability in the traditional sense. And, uh, you know, we're not going to resolve that, but we need to acknowledge it. So I guess my first question is, do by affor housing affordability do we actually mean in the traditional sense, 80% or below median uh, subsidized by the state? And if we no, do say that, no, okay. we, we don't. Then um, what do we it, mean? <laughs> it, it, so what it talks about in the past objectives, and then I'll go to Council Arte, I just want to clarify, was is low and moderate income. Right. Um, and then our last goals did say as set forth in the comprehensive housing policy, which I believe talks about diversity of housing type 
And then that is also specifically outlined in the action item. So the year round shelter was action item one, and then proposed measures to increase diversity of housing stock available to all residents. Um, measures to retain, promote, and increase home ownership opportunities for low and moderate income, including first time home buyers. These aren't things that just would qualify for that capital A subsidized uh, affordable, which doesn't cover moderate income. Uh, and doesn't cover a lot of low income either, yeah, but um, yes. but I but I think that for me is where it goes beyond just the capital A into the lowercase a affordable, um, and and just to explain those terms in case just for the recordings purposes, cap when I say capital A affordable, I mean subsidized by the state or federal government, um, so that, and you have to have basically income eligibility and in, and in multiple categories. Lowercase a affordable is kind of the the generic term of available. Um, some people do say available. So anyway, mm -hmm. um, Councilor Ryan, did that finish, did that help? Yeah, no, I don't, I I'm not, I don't right. think that, it answered that is your point. That's an accurate just, description yeah. of that category. You're absolutely correct. I still think that it fudges a lot, but um, that may be just the nature of the beast. Lynn's question or a suggestion is that it, this, this should be combined with economic vitality um, as part of that category. And I'm I'm struggling with that because housing clearly is something that's on a lot of people's minds. It's a big topic, um, and I wonder if it, it doesn't merit a category by itself. But I don't know. I just don't know. I'll shut up. Um, Lynn. So, again, I think it, this is not even an argument about combining. This is an argument about. There is no sense putting something in the town manager's goals that a town government cannot do. Right. And so when I looked at the housing goal this mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. I said, we can't, we cannot impact the cost of what a house sell, sells for in Amherst. We cannot do that. We could maybe put in rent control if it wasn't illegal. Boston's trying to look at that again. I lived in a rent control area in Cambridge. But the reality is we can build affordable housing, but that's with a large A. We can't do affordable housing with a small A. We can't do it. So get rid of those goals. Mm. Uh, Councilor Ate. I think I'm slightly, what I say, what I'm saying would be slightly related to that point. I'm looking at housing affordability and what struck me is that I don't really know how you could evaluate the town manager <laughs> on some of the goals. So there is proposed measures, proposed measures, three proposed measures, yeah. but yeah. that might just be some comments that are made in town council, but nothing concrete. The more concrete thing would be number one, which is uh, the operation of a seasonal or year round shelter, but that isn't what we tend to think of as affordable housing. I, I think it merits because of the salience, its own section. I just don't know what would be contained in a section called affordable housing. Oh, yeah. So I have some thoughts on this. I, I do think that there are things the town manager can do with his staff that meet some of these goals. I think one of the specific examples in last year's goals were um, was talking about da -da 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 -da, increasing home ownership opportunities, including first time home buyers. If the council votes this, that to me, would direct the town manager to work with his staff to think about what would a program like this look like in Amherst. Those programs exist in plenty of other towns. How might it be funded? How might it? But that, again, the, the reason why we do these goals is to say how the town manager is going to uh, spend a lot of his time. If that's something that the, the council wants to focus on, I do think that that is a reasonable thing that towns can and do do. So I do think that there are ways to get at this. I don't think that we have, as a council, pushed ourselves to actually get specific enough to where this is helpful. So I think if we're if we're willing to get a bit more specific, um, and I think this is also one where we should ask 
Paul for his input on it, right? Um, and say like, is this something that you've seen actionable in some way? And maybe we don't know what the way is yet, um, but in some way and get his perspective on on it and kind of push it forward so, in that sense. So I, we, do, we do actually Southeast Street and Belchertown Road mm -hmm. with a direct result of town action. Now they had to find yes. a partner. They had to go out and find, you know, wayfinders. But mm -hmm. that was the result of what the town did. Ball Lane and uh, East Gables were the result of a uh, non for profit developer um, mm -hmm. finding a property and running with it. And the town supported it, but had, mm -hmm. had nothing technically to do with it. So um, in the case of, of the Belchertown Road project and the Southeast, the South Street, the mm -hmm. street right? Um, the, the manager at the direction of the council um, pursued that. Um, yeah. So that's an example that he can point to. Um, yes. So um, there's a place for that. In, going forward in the future, my question is how much more can we do? That's that's a larger sort of policy question and a, really a question of, of planning in relation to our larger housing goals versus our affordable capital A housing goals. And no one ever really talks about that or really looks at it. How much affordable housing, capital A, can a community of roughly 16,000 permanent residents with a student population of about 24,000, how much can it actually afford um, when its property taxes are the essential uh, source of, 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 almost, of most of our revenues? There's a limit to what you can do, but that's a discussion that we don't seem to like to have, but I think we need to have. Um, and now that gets into objectives, but um, broadly speaking, there is, a, there is a role clearly for the manager to pursue something like affordable housing capital A, because that's what happened with Belchertown Road and, and, and the South Southeast Street School. Um, but I, I am talking about lowercase a. When I talk about first-time home buyer programs, those aren't for income right. qualified. Those are just yeah. for first-time home buyers, we right? Could, of of any could, income. Yeah, we, we could, could pursue see. something yeah. like that. We could, okay. so I, that's what I mean is, is beyond just those capital A, which I agree we've done a phenomenal job stewarding. Right. Um, I, this is where, so for me, I would like the town manager and his staff to start working on this type of thing of that lowercase a. And I think this is one where we as a council may not know what the strategies are at this point, oh, no, but right. we're saying yeah. we want the town manager and his staff to spend some time figuring out what might this look like. And the answer might, and, and the actionable thing might be, send us a plan. And the plan might say, this isn't doable. <laughs> but I think that it's, you know, I, I think for me, this is the reason this is so strong as its own category is that this is about how we want to prioritize the time of the town manager. And I, I do think that cap, lowercase a affordable housing is one that the town manager and his staff will need to focus on because our affordable housing trust is really limited in their in their scope to that capital A in their their dollars have to go towards capital A affordable, right? right? Mm -hmm. So we need someone to start looking at this. And that's, I don't know, I, I, I well, think, think that's why. I, no one disagrees with you. I think that's something yeah. definitely we'll get to in objectives and I would certainly support it. But I think the question we're facing is, do we want to keep it as a separate category, which is what I'm arguing for. And it sounds like you might be arguing for. Yes. Lynn is suggesting that we try and fold it under economic vitality. And I'm not sure where uh, Freckley stands, but at the moment we're somewhat divided on this and maybe that's where it's going to stay tonight. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, Frank, if you have a thought on it, whether you think it should stand alone or whether it should be part of a larger economic vitality category. I don't know if you have any view on that or not. So I sit comfortably on the position that we should have it as a separate category, even though I know that it is, in theory, more with economic vitality. I think it sends a message. That is the reason why I would want it to be yeah, yeah, a it separate is. category. Yeah, yeah. Um, there are people in town who don't, who are concerned about housing. They aren't concerned about, they, they also are concerned about economic vitality, but housing means so much to them that if they were to look at this document, that's one thing they would want to look for as with neon lights. And so just having it as its own category would be sending a signal. 
And, and I, I think that you make a really good point, if I may, just and I'll shut up. Um, got, no, the public facing nature of this document, I mentioned it at mm -hmm. my at the initial presentation of this to the council, and I may be the only one who feels this way, but it sounds like at least Freke agrees with me, that this is something I actually, you know, if I don't actually physically give it to people, I will refer to it when I'm talking to them about the council. Yeah. And so there is a public facing aspect to this. So I think we want to be a little careful, uh, balance our desire to kind of simplify and combine with our desire to communicate clearly to the public um, what are the things that really matter to us. Um, and so that's kind of a, a little bit behind my argument earlier about uh, social justice and racial equity. I think it's mm -hmm. important that that stay there as a separate category uh, as part of a public uh, facing aspect of this document, um, even though it may be something we could also fold under other categories. So I think this is another one that we might want to keep separate for that reason alone. I agree. I think, you know, the budget is the first document that communicates our values, but this is the second um, in my mind. I think uh, as a as a community, this is um, it absolutely says kind of the direction that we want to go. And and I agree. Given that point, we're going to keep it. And given the time, I'm going to keep it separate for now. Um, mm -hmm. And I just want to run through. And then the other thing I want to say is when we initially talked with Paul about this, we weren't we were saying we're going to look at the goal areas. Right. But we weren't promising a specific number, we weren't even promising to reduce them. I think we've already done a really good job at making these make sense. Um, and so I, I just want to note, we have al already by nature of what we've done today, really simplified uh, what we're looking at here, which is, I, I want to just commend you all on that. So I'm going to walk through all of these. Climate action would be goal area one, community health and safety, goal area two, economic vitality, goal area three, Housing affordability, goal area four. Racial equity and social justice, goal area five. Administration and leadership, goal area six. And infrastructure management, maintenance and land stewardship, goal number seven. Community and strategic relationships, goal number eight. We went from 13 to eight, that's, that's pretty good. Um, uh, so, I don't, see Lynn's, I don't see Lynn smiling, but that's all right. She's no, not smiling. I'm she actually, did a little nod. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, we're moving in the right direction. I think okay. we are. And, and the are. question is, do are we prepared to take this to the council for discussion on the 18th? So my question is, if we do that, that's fine. Uh, I, I, will, I, I will also tell you that we start the 18th at five at night. I know. We yeah. discuss the town managers. So we can put it on the agenda with the understanding that it may not actually happen. And That's we'll fine. More, yeah. But I think, I, would it, like... I, I think a test run of the collapsing of these goals with the council before we go any further would be really helpful. I That's agree. Fine. No, I agree. And I think what I'd like to do, though, is have... Uh, anything I put in that we didn't discuss today, I'm just going to write TBD. Um, mm -hmm. Just, I, I want to make it clear to the council that just because there isn't an objective doesn't mean it's not there. This is just where we got in our discussion thus yeah. far. And I, I, I think that message needs to be extremely clear. I don't want people to think we're leaving things out. I don't want people to think we cut anything. Um, at this point, this is, but, but I do think that the objectives that we talked about for the areas we combined are very important to explain those areas. Mm -hmm. So um, with the committee's agreement, I'll take out the things that I added in just from my own comments here. So climate action, um, uh, economic vitality, I added that, housing affordability, I added that. I didn't write them, I just pulled them over. Um, yeah, so the only, the only areas that will have objectives and what we bring to the council will be administration and leadership, um, we didn't really talk about this and then, but I'll, I can pull, sorry, let's just talk about it really fast in the next minute. What we had talked about under infrastructure management was pulling over the goals from major capital investments um, yes. or, and, and, or the overviews. So I'm just gonna pull that over, which is make progress on major capital investments consistent with council votes. Um, okay. So I'm gonna, okay. So I'll move that under infrastructure management. Oops. And then the other, this is the other uh, objective there that was pulled over, maintain and manage the town's capital and public assets. 
Um, and then there's a lot of really specific things that would be better as goals. Okay. Right. And then community and strategic relationships. Um, this was just pulled over from the old document. Uh, I can just combine those. Um, unless there's something that folks think know. is I'm, I'm missing. Nervous about we haven't really looked at this language. We really haven't looked at this, but what, how about this? How about what I'll do is I will say TBD, but in the objectives column, I'll say TBD and I'll just put in parentheses combination of community engagement, relationship with town council and relationship with local higher ed. Let me write that so I don't uh, forget. Do you want to go through it now, George? Well, we your tie, no time is, of, of, is pressing. I wonder if just at least the first statement of each is adequate and the, the second one we might leave out. In other words, uh, under community engagement, you have to maintain, develop positive relationships with communication with residents. That's fine. To maintain, develop positive relationships, communication with town council. That's fine. And then the third one, to community positive. I think those top items in each one is fine. But the others, I think we need to look at more closely. And I don't think we have time to do it now. That would be That's nice I agree with you. I think this is actually an action item, not a goal anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. And then, but the second one, this yeah. one, do you think this one is, I think okay. this one is, I think that's an objective. I think stay, it is. Just stay where it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. So, okay. So for the time being, again, this is not final. Yeah. We can still go back and edit this later, but just to show the council what we've been working on. I lost my stress ball and I'm stressed about <laughs> it. Um, uh, anyway, just to show the council what we've been working on, it'll be these. Uh, these ones I, in I'm sure Sandy walked away with it but that's um, okay probably she's downstairs with me now anyway all right rest too you know it's not easy to she, you know it's really hard being a dog um okay these so days. I will polish this document up and then Lynn yes we will we can look at it at the council I think even if we don't get to it having it in the packet people can still look at it and kind of see and then they can give me any feedback they want feedback. um yeah. and I will also share oh sorry go ahead I would I would make it your report for the for the meeting and have a little introduction and attach it, but oh, make sure report. that people, okay. yeah, make sure people really look at it. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, all right. So we are going to move on then in our last half an hour to the two proclamations. Um, and hang on. Um, okay. By the way, this was a very productive conversation. I know, George, are you really going to tell me you didn't have a little bit of fun? I had no fun whatsoever. I knew it. All right. This was uh, better than your, your 10 o'clock. I was, I was just about to say we are I more really fun no than fun, TSO, yeah. but, you know, I won't, I won't, I won't go there. I found my stress ball. Okay, so. I wish I could borrow it right now. With this it's a good one, too, George. I'm oh, going to get you this I'm, one. This I one, know where to get them now. Thanks better than that. the Monday one. I agree. All right. Um, I'm, we're going to start with Small Business Saturday, just because that's up on my document first. So I want to clarify a couple of the formatting edits I did before we get totally into this. Um, first off, George, I think at some point you had created, and I didn't actually look at it, but I think you had created a, or I had started creating a style guide. Um, it, it might be something, okay, so I, it was me. I started creating a style guide for proclamations and resolutions, and then it got a little messy, and so I stopped. But at some point, I would like to bring that to GOL to, as a reference doc, because I think it's confusing um, I don't think anyone is messing up. It's just there's no explanation on how to be consistent. So um, this is kind of what, if folks like this or, you know, I'll, I'll anyway, I just want to let you know, I think I'm something I'm going to work on. Um, so Town of Amherst Proclamation Recognizing Small Business Saturday and Shop Local Week 2024. I added in Town of Amherst in 2024 um, just to differentiate it from past years. I do not believe I missed anyone on the council sponsors list, but now I want to go back through and double check. Yeah, I think you got him. And I spelled Lynn's name right. Okay. And then um, community sponsors, I added the acronym after Amherst Business Improvement District because then we refer to them. Um, other, for other formatting I did, uh, this is the same size font as everything. And then these um, are always bolded and capitalized at the beginning of the paragraph. So those are the, I think that's all the formatting I did. Um, let's go line by line. Any issues with the title or the sponsors? No. Nope. Great. First, whereas, Town of Amherst? No. Nope. Second, whereas, nearly, Councilor Ajay? Relatively small. Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. With less than 20 employees. Then 
we could so just relatively get rid of it. Yeah. That's fine. So you want me to say 90% of the for-profit businesses have fewer than 10 employees. Also that less should be fewer anyway. Fewer, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, but you wanted to say um, have fewer than 20 employees and approximately 70% have fewer than 10 employees? Yes. Good. Okay, great. That's fine. Um, next whereas, okay. Uh, I added in the word nationally just because this was. Yes. Uh, I think that's good. For some I reason, may, I felt I was throwing me. So I, yeah, okay. If I may, and it's yes, something go we ahead. can do about it. As this go, and these are generally the same thing year in, year out with a few small changes. The data, at least in this previous section, gets older and older. It's Ooh, now, okay. we're talking about 2019, it's now 2024. Nothing we can do about that. And maybe it doesn't bother people. But I get a little nervous when we start citing statistics that are like six or seven or eight years old. Um, but that's just what it is at the moment. Hopefully, at some point, somebody will either update the statistics or we'll just yeah. take this paragraph out. Um, I assume that the numbers about Amherst are, you know, again, they're probably dated too. But you can always check them with, and it's from the bid. But um, anyway, I, I just, yeah. it makes me a little nervous to quote stuff that's so old. They only that's have two really days good. to kind of do this. So I had the, I agree with you. No, I understand. hundred percent understand. Yeah. But at some point uh, it's going to be 2030 and somebody's going to say. Well, yeah, <laughs> but especially post COVID too, with everything, the landscape exactly. really shifted. Anyway, that's. Uh, uh, Councillor Ate. So that was uh, a point I was going to raise once we got to paragraph six, where I had in my notes, where did this come from? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I can only, t I'll, I'll raise my hand. Um, Go ahead, Len. Okay. I can only tell you that this was first written um, both locally, but also uh, fed through a national stream. And I haven't seen any national stream on Small Business Saturday for probably two years. So, but it was informed by both. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just looking it up now and seeing if I can find it. I'm, I'm not sure. Small Business and Entrepreneurship Council posted that some of them, Small Business Associate Administration. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think this gets back to the larger question that we're going to, talk about many times of footnotes and whether we want them or don't. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think for the purposes of this right now, because it's coming up, um, right? It also, I mean, you know, eventually it goes back yeah. to the sponsors, both the counselor sponsors and the community sponsors. You, you go to them and say, okay, you know, this is coming up in the next month or so. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, because ultimately it comes, I mean, I'm not sure how many people read this, and I, it's a wonderful thing, and I'm glad we support it, but it does go out under our name, and we sign it, and it goes out into the public domain, and it would be a courtesy if the folks who support this sort of thing would just, you know, update it, or, or you know, yeah. you know, come and talk to us about it and answer questions like, where did this information come from? Um, the counselor sponsors could do that, too, um, depending on how much they're involved in this. But um, this is clearly a document that comes from a community group that's very important to our community. And I'm not saying about this particular one, but going forward, it sure would be nice if um, they would do a little bit of their homework before it gets to us. Because uh, we're going to be in this position, not just for this document, but for others, where it's it's been repeated and repeated. And we support it, and we're going to put it in. But it'd be nice if they would just update that's and, okay, that's and, really fair. I think because we need this for the next council meeting, let's either say cut it or leave it as is because I don't want GOL to have to do that research. But in the future, no, I, I think when we get these, I'll, I'll try to be more discerning about reaching out to sponsors and saying you need it. And, and I think in advance, the, just say, yeah, yeah. You to deal with this, please, you know, check Are it. Are these the most updated? updated yeah, exactly. And, if, and where's your reference? Right. I think um, in this, this would be the appropriate place for a footnote so that you don't have to say every single paragraph, say, according to the U.S. Small Business Association. But um, I think, yeah, at this point, let's, as GOL say, we either are going to cut the paragraph because it doesn't make any sense without a reference or leave it in and we'll do better next time. Um, Lynn? 
I think at this point we should leave it in. And then uh, with the fact that we now have both a new um, bid director and a new uh, director of this um, chamber. Chamber. Yeah. Thank you. We can uh, talk to that, yeah. that, you know, we can point it out and I'm sure by next year they'll update it. I agree. Uh, Councilor Arte? And my position was the opposite. I was thinking we could perform some corrective surgery um, because you could actually amputate a few of the paragraphs and still keep the sense, but it wouldn't matter in any case. I just think that once this goes out, it it, it has a life of its own. And so the the less we can the more we can keep that life self-contained the better it could be and so paragraph six was one of those that just was um okay. something that i think yes 90 to 96. maybe the way to do this is to just not put the percentage in just say, whereas consumers who shop on Small Business Saturday are, whereas many consumers who shop. I, I, I'm very, very sensitive to the issue of statistics and not being up to date. So I'm trying to find a way to have the expression of what it is without the statistics. So if we say, um... Whereas consumers who shop in small business Saturday agree that shopping at small independently owned businesses supports their commitment to making purchases, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a many, and, it's a many consumers. Many. Yeah, if you want. Um, and, uh, and, and then you say the same thing again, right? <laughs> well, hang on. Sorry, but it's encourages a positive social, economic, and environmental impact. And that I think we could just cut this. You, you could do that. And that small businesses are essential to the, their community. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, same thing here. Yes. I'm worried it's too vague, but I'm letting it go. Uh, all right. Okay. I was actually going to say that this was an unnecessary, if we wanted to cut stats, I think, I thought this was unnecessary because we cite Amherst. I don't, I didn't think we needed to get into the national, um, if we were looking to, to remove, and I actually, this is one that I actually would take a slight umbrage with being out of date because I bet this one has shifted post COVID. Um, but I, I could be wrong. The next paragraph, you'd have the same issue though. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's back, it's, yeah, I know, right. it's back, right. it's yeah, back right. to the issue of, of where this comes from and how updated it is. And we don't have the sponsors present. And so my my concern always is I'm not sure how much they would care, but you know, normally we don't do this kind of major editing on a document yeah. without yeah, the right. sponsors. They present. basically focused on the yeah. last two whereases in that are on the screen. Yeah. Which I have yeah. thoughts on. Okay, so let's get all right. So Councilor yeah. Arte. Is that where we are going to? I didn't want to preempt. Yeah, I don't know. That is where we're going to, unless someone has anything on this one. Okay, so let's do this. This whereas, whereas the Amherst area chamber. Yeah, this um, is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Councilor Ette. I think the the. I just had a note. List them. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to get my window so I can get my review. Thanks. Yeah, we tended not to list in proclamations yeah this is this is not what we'd like to do in proclamations i understand why it's here and i sympathize but we really are not the advertising arm of the of the chamber and the bid um but i don't know how you can fix it other than just say you know they'll promote a lot of holiday events in in and following you know and but then not mention any i i well Okay, here's where I'm guilty. I specifically asked them to update these paragraphs. Okay, well, that's reasonable, but they did. <laughs> now we're stuck with it. So um, I think that there are some things that we could do to make this a little bit less onerous. I don't think we need to say uh, downtown shopping. I don't think we need to say discounts up to 20%. Um, I, you know, like I think that there are things we can do to make this a bit more concise. 
Um, I, I think that we could say, and I think we could break it into two. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Well, look at, I think make, this you is can clear to do that. Look at the next one. Oh, I know. I had a shoot with there too. With this. I, I think I already broke this out. The, I, this, I think was my, I think I took the liberty because I was like, whoever's stuck reading this is going to be reading for an hour. Um, so. It's, it reads more like a, uh, a, 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 basically a news, uh, you know, um, you know, thing you send to the newspaper. It doesn't really read like a proclamation. And, okay. you know, that's, but, you know. What if, because what here, let's back up. This is a proclamation recognizing small business Saturday and shop local week. And mm -hmm. that's what we need to be focusing on. Mm -hmm. I, I think that we can say, we could say the Amherst area chamber and bid will promote the holiday season in Amherst with numerous small business initiatives. Period. Please visit their <laughs> website, whatever. Um, yeah. But we are, these aren't, it's their opportunity to get it out in the public. Right, but there are You're better really ways to do it than out. through our uh, well, process. They will be is, doing it, but this is I, not. I will just yeah. let me just say this is how it was written in the past, and all they did was update. So just the because past, it's how it was done this. in the past doesn't yeah. mean it was done right in the past. <laughs> I know. I know. I just hate that they went to the trouble of updating, right. and now, now we're going to chop it, chop it out. Yeah. Well, they shouldn't give it to us then. They should, because <laughs> in the end, what we say in our policy is that yeah, we are responsible for the document. And, and I understand. We, we try to work with sponsors and we prefer to work with sponsors. If they are not present, um, we just do what we think we are, is the right thing to do because this document ultimately is our document, not theirs. This so a proclamation, we are, we are proclaiming something I still, I think we can get at some of these. Um, I think we could say, what I was trying to say before was, we'll promote the holiday season in Amherst with numerous small business initiatives, including a gift card match locate promotion, the lighting of the Merry Maple, uh, and- Pick a third, yeah. A third. Yeah, but, but because we already have this down below here because that's what we're proclaiming we're proclaiming small business week we don't need it up here as well okay. um i think i think we should i'm gonna i'm gonna type because i'm forgetting as i'm starting top i'm not going to delete yet um maybe i am okay with numerous small business initiatives including a gift card match promotion um uh, the annual lighting of the Mary Maple um, and a downtown holiday shopping extravaganza. Exactly. Um, Period. And <laughs> I think this though, but I think this, because all of these or within Small Business Week. So I think we should say holiday season in Amherst with numerous small business initiatives during, uh, what is it? Shop Local Week. There, that, mm -hmm. Then it ties it back to what we're actually proclaiming. It's not just a random list. Right. Um, and then, I mean, if you really wanted to add the dates in, I think we could, but I think to list the sponsors for each event is confusing when they're both sponsors of the uh, proclamation. I, I would agree. So we so we could say gift card match promotion on December no George is saying no I, I just think that three is enough and then we just okay Greg is also saying no okay so um then we would get to this one I think is separate because it's outside of shop local week mm -hmm. I don't know if it we I, it's still supporting small businesses but right, anyway yeah, um yeah. and then. You can say information on all events and more can be found on the websites of the organizations, amherstdowntown.com and amherstarea.com. Does that, so I'm, this would all then, oh, sorry, the way my tracking is set up, it doesn't, uh, you know what I mean? Oh I can't wait to have to look at your style guide, which will hopefully answer many of these questions for us uh, in the future. I might need your help writing it. 
No, and uh, Councilor Ate, actually, I think you're you are he might very be the right good person at yeah. <laughs> he's ruthless. Um, he's utterly he's ruthless. ruthless. All right, yeah. we're over time on this one, so let's finish it up. Uh, right. yeah. Any issues with the now therefores? I did. I think I break broke them into two. Uh, we had done this before. The first now there therefore outlines what we're proclaiming, and the second is what we're asking people to do. Yeah. Good. Does that work? It's good. good. Okay. Uh, I would like to make a motion to recommend or to declare the town of Amherst proclamation recognizing small business Saturday and shop local week 2024 uh, to the town count. Uh, I'm sorry. To be clear, to find them clear, yeah. consistent and actionable. Oof. Second. Second. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to call the vote. Councilor Ryan. Aye. Uh, uh, Lynn. Aye. And Councilor Ette. Aye. I'm writing it down so I don't forget. All right. Um, four in favor, zero opposed, one so it passes. Okay, good job. And I will send that to you and Athena Lynn. Thanks. Okay, next up, I'm zoomed out and before you yell at me about it, I'm zooming in. Okay. Share, we're almost there, we're almost there. Hopefully it's the right one. Human rights day, are we all looking at that? Okay. Town of Amherst Proclamation Recognizing Human Rights Day 2024. Counselor sponsors. Um, I made similar edits on this one, just formatting wise. And then I added in um, the sponsors and the community sponsors. I added in Amherst Human Rights Commission. Just, I don't know, it looked weird to just say Human Rights Commission I to think me. that's good. Is that okay? All right, good. Um, okay, first whereas. Are we about to get really mad? In okay, go ahead, Councilor Ajay. I was wondering about the on which but, Human Rights Day is observed annually each December 10th, commemorating the day on which in 1948. It makes sense, but what if we just had commemorating the day in 1948? I think that'd be fine. But then wouldn't you need the in which after? Because Observed each de December 10th, commemorating the day in 1984. The e okay, okay. I don't love it, but I I don't feel strongly enough to fight it. Yeah, on which is it? It makes sense. It, but it it's, it's um, flowerier, and I like it. <laughs> uh, all right, hang on. I'm gonna go with the grammarian. <laughs> well. Yeah. It should be nice, though. We want to make it pretty to read. I think it, it sounds prettier the way it is. I think it's pretty right. over split. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. What if we moved? No, just leave no, it in. Leave it. Leave it. All right, all right, all right. Whereas in 2016, you can't say this is too old because it was the day they did something. Same with 1948. Right. Um, <laughs> any issues with the second whereas? Shouldn't this say called? called? Yeah. Oh, I got something. All right. Um, and third warehouse. Go ahead, Councilor Arte. I, I'm not sure I can really articulate what doesn't work here. So, whereas the United Nations states that many among us are fearful about the direction of our country. So I think the whole quote seems lifted out of right. somewhere and dropped somewhere else. Right. Who's, whose country is our country? Yes. The United Nations it is was, not a country. Right. This was the, dec this is lifted from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Um, so I think yeah, we true. could clarify that to say, whereas the Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that, would that make more sense? That yeah, would make more sense. But it would still... <laughs> The... Oh, 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 of our country. I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Right, I, I mean, saying. it still leaves, right. So I don't know how it made sense in the original document. I'm sure it did. But um, it, it, I'd have to look at the document. I'm going to look at the document. And I, and my, my copy of it is not here. Um, I don't think it is, but. Wait, do you just have a copy of the Declaration of Human Rights? I used to have one, yes. I don't think Sorry, I that, that took me too long to process. Um, let we me look have, up the actual We read quote. it every year, so 
We've yes, we it's I can't see it, but hang on, let me whoopsies. Sorry. Let me look. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. No, I don't think it's the only things that are coming up are our proclamation. No, this would actually be called the um No, I know. I searched the I searched the quote. Oh. Um because I was trying to read through the Universal Declaration and I, I searched country and I didn't see it. Hang on. Okay. Uh, nope, not there. Nope, nope. It is not in there. Um. Did the United States say this? Is that my... The United Nations stated it. But what country were they talking about? How did the United oh, States say I, our I, country? Yeah. That makes no sense, but yeah. When is this? December 10th. Do we have another council meeting before it? Can we clarify? We do. So should we push this off and get clarity on that? Yeah, yeah. Should we go through the rest of it or should we wait? We have four minutes. Well, let's left see the if there's any other questions that need to be clarified. Okay. By the All way, right, let me. That's a good call. The, the co-chairs of um, the Human Rights Commission did look at this, but I don't think they gave it a lot of time. It's actually called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It's the actual title. Yeah, I just was. I just searched the PDF and okay. it's not in there. But I will. Okay, so I'll follow up on that part. Let's let's go through and see if we have any other questions. Um, were there any other questions on this paragraph other than the source of the quote? I think no. once we have that, then it will be easier to rearrange. And one of the things we tend to do with the paragraphs is not to have sentences. So I was thinking that. Too, yeah. Tweet, like, yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Then I'm just gonna, just gonna do it so that I don't forget. All right, uh, whereas community members? That's a small L for locally in an extra space there. Where are you, here? Yes, yeah. thank you. It's just one space. The formatting's weird, it's set to spread. I'll fix it. Okay. Oh, it's, um, it's spread out, got it. Yeah, it's like the weird one. Uh, Councilor Arte? So I'm on the whereas community members. Yes. Um, and I was wondering why we needed that qualification. What do you mean? What, which, what, what? Sorry. So community members of Amherst have expressed their belief in and commitment to protecting the human rights we all share. When we use, when I think of community members, I it leaves room to differentiate who belongs to that community and who doesn't. And it would be easier for me to think of it as Amherst has expressed its belief and commitment to protecting human rights. How about members of the community of Amherst? Okay. Our members think, of the Amherst community. Here's where Councilor Ate, I think we get into a bit of a kind of a catch-22, because when we say Amherst has expressed it, we mean through this proclamation. So we have passed this proclamation before, so we could say in past years the town of Amherst has done this proclamation, but I think that's actually saying something different, because I think what this is saying is, I think this is expressing that we hold this as a community value beyond just a proclamation. Um, it's definitely a squishier sentence, but I think that it's, I think changing it to just say Amherst has, I, so I've had issue with that other sentence in the past because I'm like, that's not a thing, right? We have proclamations resolutions that we should cite or we have community members who say it, but the town itself doesn't speak. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's, that has been my issue with that framing in the past. And I'm happy to be convinced otherwise. I just, that's, yeah. So Lynn. could it say members of the Amherst community? 
Okay. Does that sound better to you, Consorte? It sounds it sounds better. It might be the same sense, but it sounds better. Yeah. Okay. Compromise. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh next go ahead. Sentence, you, you, I don't sentence. know. Councilor Ate, I think had more on this, more to say. Human rights capital. Okay. I now Yeah, I, I think it's because it's a yeah, yeah. I I had that question last year. Um whereas in two thousand nine. Uh, Councillor I'm sorry, I had my hand. Um, oh, residual. Okay, Lynn. What's, good. You have an extra sentence, here, so <laughs> yes. you either need to say colon and in. Into 2011. Yeah, just make it col after age colon and in. Yeah. You need why, why, why not and, yeah. Yes, and, yes. And in 2011. Wouldn't it be a comma? Why a colon? Um, it doesn't right. matter. Comma. comma? Comma's fine. All right, all right. I like commas. They're my favorite form of punctuation other than exclamation points. Okay. Um, whereas town meeting has also adopted. Shouldn't it just be town meeting adopted? Yes. Okay. And then you've got another sentence down. Yeah. Um, Colon or comment and, think, and it passed. I think it's just another. No, it's a, there's this is the second list. I think it's just a. It's just this is a very long sentence. And it, it should get rid of words has it passed. Yes, it should, thank you. And and do we still not do business with the state of Arizona? Oh. That's a really good question. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna um, ask. I just can't even imagine. Someone should tell the state of Arizona that, but uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I'll be taking a helicopter out there. <laughs> oh, God. I was worried. That they you may not drive. let you in their airspace, Lynn. That, uh, it's fine with me. <laughs> it's actually All right, let's come on, y'all. Any other questions here? Uh, where is the town council has issued? It's all true. We already said this. Yeah. Should the P this be capitalized? Don't get rid of the and, though. I'd like to call in in the end. I, I, yeah, I will. Okay. But, right? We said that in the oh, paragraph yes, below? Yeah. Above? Yeah. Okay. What did, George, what did you just say? Uh, proclamations. The proclamations? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, whereas these actions? There's a, sp there's some a little uh, dash after the words right. Yeah, I know. I get why it's there. I don't know what to replace it with, though. It's it's either should a be semicolon a, or a double oh. dash. Double dash. Yeah, it should be a double, double dash. dash. Yeah. Double In other dash. words, right. Yeah. Okay. Then, then do a the and a t, and that makes it a solid dash. What? After dash, go one space, put in another t. Uh -huh. now, but, okay. oh, to auto correct it gotcha yeah okay. there you go uh, that sentence made z i processed it thrice before i realized i didn't understand it okay um yeah. counselor, I, here. I know i know um <laughs> remind us together mm -hmm. can i do another double dash now that i know how to do the super cool trick mm, that's, so that yeah. each of us every allowance is entitled to the few the full range of human rights and that it is every person's responsibility to uphold them they bind us i it makes sense to me as a separate sentence i don't know that i think this is an exception to the I rule can leave it i leave it no leave it i because it we're not going to add whereas it binds us together as a global community that's no, that makes no sense no, no. it's no. too short counselor Ate? You wanted to make it its own whereas. You could go double dash. You could double dash it. Binding yeah. us together as a global community. This yeah. is, we have lost the plot. Okay. 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 Now, therefore. Oh, and this is the other stylistic thing. We should start our now, therefore, is with we, the town, Amherst Town Council. Um, so I added that in. So now, therefore, we, the Amherstown Council, do hereby proclaim as Human Rights Day, be it further proclaimed, um, shouldn't, 
shouldn't this be singular? We the Anderson Council, Council encourages, encourages. encourages. Yes. Encourages. I would say encourages. But we're a singular body. We encourage our. Community. We encourage. Okay. Then okay. this should be encourage. does. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, embrace yeah. every opportunity to reflect and embody the values of it. There's, There's something that. wrong between community and the comma. I don't know. It what. doesn't like. It doesn't like the comma. I like mm. the comma, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. I love an Oxford comma. All right, y'all. Um, okay, I, we so are not, we research. are not finding this yet. We yeah. know the sponsors are doing research. Um, we do not need to do research, but I will um, reach out to the Human Rights Commission. Should I reach out to the uh, residents? If you want the... me to, I'll go ahead and go back to them. Just send it to me since I did the initial okay. contact. Okay, great. I will send okay. these both to you then. Okay. I don't um, see. Go ahead. You don't what? Mm -mm. I'm done. Okay. Okay, y'all, it is 8.35. This was an incredibly productive meeting. Thank you all so much for showing up so fully and bringing your wonderful selves to this. Lynn? Move to adjourn. <laughs> I was about to ask if there was one. Okay, Lynn has moved to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. I'm always curious how George is going to go on this. All right, uh, Council Ryan has the second. Uh, let's take a vote. Uh, Council Ryan? Yes. Thank you. Council Arte? Aye. And Lynn? I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'll count that. All right. And I am an I as well. I am an I as well. And I in case I didn't record my vote on the first vote, just in case I missed that, I also am an I. Um okay. We are adjourned at 8 36. Thank you all so much. Have a lovely, lovely evening. I will see you again soon. Take Bye, care. everybody. Bye.